we're going. Hong Kong. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you saw from the title, we are going back to Hong Kong after 5 long years. And here is a clip of my breakfast before we land. 13 hours later and we made it. First stop, 7-Eleven to buy some water. We landed in the morning which gave us plenty of time to settle in before we headed out for some lunch. Of course we went to Dai Ga Lot which is a popular go-to in Hong Kong and I got a roast duck rice. As the sun started to set, we walked around the area before heading over to Mong Gok. Also, these traffic light crossing sounds brings back so many memories. For dinner, we jumped into a tartan town for a filling meal where I got some beef short ribs. Starting off the morning with some breakfast, we got some congee and rice noodle rolls. We then went into one of many bakeries to buy ourselves some bao buns for the road. We then jumped on a boat and headed to a different island where we spent most of our day there. In the evening we went to an all-you-can-eat hot pot buffet. This restaurant was really good as you pay for the meat and the broth per person with unlimited veg, sides, drinks and sauces. We each got our own little pot and I chose chicken broth. Next day we went to a shopping mall which is known for their indoor ice rink as you can see. Hong Kong literally has the best sushi with so many options to choose from. We had 31 plates in total which came up to around £29. I also love how you can fill up your own tea from the wall where it just dispenses hot water. We were so full after the meal so we took a walk and saw this beautiful sunset. We were craving some dessert so we went around some bakeries and brought home some egg tarts and a cake. The next day, me and Liam grabbed some brunch from Takano Ramen before meeting the others in central Hong Kong. We jumped in one of these old school trams and arrived in Times Square. I can't even tell you how long I've waited for a stone pot meal and today I finally got one. Here I just got a plain pepper rice with some corn. Our first activity of the day was visiting Sky 100. The observatory deck is Hong Kong's tallest building, standing at 1,538 feet tall, which also offers a 360 degree view of the skyscrapers seeing all sides of the city. This has to be one of my favourite skylines. We then met up with my parents at a cafe before heading over to Avenue of Stars. Avenue of Stars also gives a great view of Hong Kong's skyline up close. They also have really cool boats passing by like this pirate looking one, along with some statues and handprints of famous celebrities such as Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. We also stayed till the evening to watch the light shows. The next morning we grabbed one of Hong Kong's popular breakfasts, which is soup pasta, and started our morning hike to the temple and 10,000 Buddhas. This is also a popular tourist attraction, reaching a beautiful view at the top. After the hike, we were super hungry, so we went to one of my favourite all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurants. For around £20 per person, you get unlimited meat, sides and drinks. Best of all, you get to cook everything yourself to your own liking. After lunch, we got on one of these cute trams again and headed to Causeway Bay to do some more shopping. The streets were quite busy because it was around rush hour time. I also had my first ever Shake Shack. Apart from the sightseeing, Hong Kong has lots of activities to do including this cup noodle museum and you would need to book in advance because they work with time slots. This activity was super fun and relaxed and I highly recommend you checking this out if you're ever in Hong Kong. After making our cup noodles, we nipped to the museum shop to get some snacks. They had lots of unique flavours including these cookie and cream crisps. We also couldn't pass by these ice cream melts, it was such nostalgia. We used to get them all the time when we were kids, and I swear I've only ever seen these in Asia. We got cotton candy and banana split flavours, and they're essentially just mini ice cream balls. A few days later, we were really lucky to have been invited to spend the day inside the Jockey Club VIP members box in Hong Kong. This was such a cool experience and we got to see the horses up close as well. The next few days consisted of eating more delicious food and buying souvenirs and treats for our journey back. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video in Taiwan. Bye!